surprise me. Okay, so we have to replace the cleats on the boat because the old cleats are not looking good. Yeah. This is what was all over the window. I believe it's salt water corrosion, probably. So we found these uh, these black cleats on Amazon. They come with the, the screws, uh, a lock nut, and a uh, nut. And these are black Teflon. So we're going to put these on and see how they hold up. They feel pretty strong, so I don't think that this thousand pound boat is going to break the cleats. But we don't want to deal with this anymore, so you know it's really bad. These won't rush, ru rust. But the only thing different, these are big enough to cover up where the old cleats were, so we'll cover up that uh, nastiness on the boat. But when we uh, screw them down, the holes are a little bit more narrow. These are one and five eighths, and these are two inch. So. That was a problem, but these are ten dollars budget boat. Getting these was quite spendy to find something that had the proper spacing. I can't believe they cost that much when they look like this after even ten years. Yeah, they were like fifty dollars each on some of the uh, right. boat sites. So we're not going to do that. No. So y'all stay tuned for this intro. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll be right back to install these. package you get these Teflon cleats and it comes with the screws individually bagged and they're they look to be about two inches but that's not going to be our need and what we found is these bolts from tractor supply they're really long and they're a lot thicker and then we picked up uh, nuts with the Teflon in there to keep them from backing off and that will go right here into these holes and then we'll screw them down. I also have my quarter inch impact socket which I'm just going to put a uh, it's just deep that's why I'm using it but I'm going to put a driver on it and just drive these down and then we should have cleats to tie this boat up for when we launch it. Okay so we wallered out the hole a little bit because these are we had two inch spacing and we have to go to a inch and five eighths and then we're going to shove this in here and these these bolt in screw in so tight they're not coming out so i don't have to use anything to hold them on this side i just screwed these all the way down into the uh, cleat and here's our life check we're ready to go boat so now we're looking on the inside of uh, the hull and we're going to put the nuts on. So now you see these have the Teflon so when we start tightening them they don't back off. I'm not doing washers on these. I may come back and do washers. I think I can scratch around and find enough washers. But these shouldn't pull out through the hole. There we go. And then we tighten them down. Okay, there we go. Now let's go see how it looks on the other side. I'm doing this as a one man operation. Danielle tried to hold them, but it was a little bit much for her. Okay guys, so we got this on and well, he did. Well, I still have to pull it up a little bit. Like you said, I couldn't do it. So I still I'm just twisting my hand all the way around. 
I wanted to get my son out here and to pull this up a bit, but I took and I pulled on it and I can feel it bend a little bit. I'm putting uh, my 200 pounds on this, but yeah, it's not coming out. Plus 30? Plus 30. So I put my 200 pounds plus 30 on this and I'm not, I'm not, it bends a little bit. So this thing will probably be awesome to tie up to, but I imagine that if you leave your bow outside and he's uncovered, it's going to uh, dry rot and stuff. Weather them. Weather them. Yeah. So, yeah. but but the black looks really good against the uh, the rubber rail and the rest of the uh, what we have going on with the boat. So, I think it's going to be good. Now let's get the rest of them on. Better than once before, right? <laughs> Definitely better. Right. So we got our little nylon cleats installed and uh, we're gonna put some rope in it and see how they hold but I've already put my 230 pounds on it and they didn't budge so I think we're good if you're looking for these I left the link down below we did have to replace the, uh, the screws we went with uh, bigger screws because the ones it comes with really short and kind of small and uh, would hate for a screw to break and our boat to flow away. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> that would be bad. Bad is bad. So. <laughs> we work too much. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're looking for other uh, videos we've done on this boat, there's links down below and up above. Check it out. And also if you're looking for great recipes, good eats, Check out DiningWithDanielle.com, making something yummy every week. Well, every day, but weekly recipes. Weekly recipes. Like I said, weekly for you, daily for me. <laughs> Sorry. And uh, if you're looking for, I'm not wearing the swag right now, but some great swag, we have that below as well. And uh, It's good stuff. Well, okay, I'm biased, but anyways. We worked really hard on this to turn it into something that you guys may like. And it's with our registered trademark, so mm -hmm. you won't see this trademark anywhere else. It is ours. Mm -hmm. Bought and paid for, lawyer, registered. all that good jazz. That's a little R. A little <laughs> R. And if you like this video, hit that like button. It's down there. It looks something like this. <laughs> if you like this channel, please subscribe. And y'all take care. <laughs>